Michelle, basically uh, before the shortlisting, they, they have a certain uh, set of rounds. So uh, in the first round, they, it's just a psychometric round. So they basically test your character, whether you are able to build relationships well, whether you are able to like talk to people, and generally your achievements and your capability. Uh, so this is the psychometric round where they. Uh, so the major thing that they test in the psychometric round is. Uh, the consistency of your answers, whether you are uh, like giving answers to the best of your knowledge, whether you are answering all the answers honestly and all. So this is the first criteria. Generally, uh, almost 80 percent of people clear this uh, first round. After this first round, uh, you get a mail where uh, they uh, they tell you whether you are eligible for the next round. After, uh, if you are eligible, you get the second round, which, which is a decision making test. I mean, it's uh, the second and the third round are combined. Uh, it's a decision making test where you will be given certain uh, like cases as in uh, so if you are in a downstream uh, uh, if you are in a uh, head of the downstream manager and one of your co-manager he uh, like he is uh, found cheating or taking a bribe from someone so what will be your set of actions and all these things so this is the decision making ability test where uh, and the, the best part of this test is they cover all their areas of expertise. I mean, Shell, uh, as you know, they, it's, it has its business in upstream as well as in downstream. So if you are an upstream manager, you get these type of cases and then how will you react to this? If you are a downstream manager, you get certain set of cases and then how do you react to it? Uh, every department of uh, theirs is covered in this case study and it's about a 45 minute case study. Uh, sort of, uh, so where you get these kind of decision making questions. Uh, immediately after that, you have the option to like uh, start, uh, sit for the third test. That is the uh, aptitude test. Aptitude test, general quanti uh, quantitative questions are asked, and uh, for that, uh, it's an 18-minute qu uh, quiz, and there are 16 questions. And mainly, these questions are based on uh, like uh, there are graphs, there are uh, data like pie charts and all, and you need to interpret them and answer the questions. So. You are allowed to use your calculators and uh, basically you need to think fast and uh, calculate it faster. So this is the uh, quantitative ability test and based on the answers of all these three tests uh, plus your resume, uh, they, uh, they give a shortlist and it's generally they select around 16 to 18 people for the shortlist and uh, for these 18 people they have the interviews uh, and the other round scheduled for the uh, placement day so after the shortlisting was done uh, the next round uh, that is just the day before the placements they uh, like called all the shortlisted students and uh, they first gave a briefing session of what shell does and uh, what the company is all about their values and their culture and all so after this they presented a document to us a file of documents and uh, where there was a case study sort of uh, of some region where shell is trying to expand and it was a hypothetical case study but uh, we had and we were told that the pre uh, the rounds that were going to take uh, that were going to happen afterwards were, will be based on this case study so some some are uh, in some of the other way they will be related to it so after this we were dispersed and the next uh, we were called in groups for the E-Tray round. So basically E-Tray round is where uh, you have to imagine yourself as a Shell employee and you constantly keep get, getting mails. Firstly you are presented the documents of uh, again the work that you are expected to do, what is your daily schedule, what are the type of people, the manager, the lists and all the countries where Shell is uh, like expanding, the, where Shell is uh, currently uh, doing its business. And after that, uh, when the time starts, you keep getting mails from different people, from right from CEO to the one working under you, local manager, everyone. And uh, so you have you have to prioritize and then reply to these emails. So this is an E-Tray round where uh, which takes place for around 20-25 minutes. And first 30 minutes you get for uh, reading all the documents. So this happens on day zero, just before the date uh, day of placements and uh, the next is the placement uh, so i'll bri briefly explain you the e-tray round that had uh, that we were supposed to be a part of so basically uh, as i said there were a lot of documents that were presented to us and which had information of all the regions that uh, shell is currently doing its business where it is trying to do its business where it is going to expand 
the workforce, their daily schedule, the types of suppliers that Shell has, all these sort of information was there in that document. And then the uh, then we received a lot of emails. So, uh, for example, let's say uh, you are a manager and uh, you are asked to like uh, uh, so uh, so you have a meeting scheduled at this particular uh, time, and then uh, the CEO says that I'm not free for this meeting. Uh, reschedule the meeting. So then you have to uh, go to the documents, check the schedule of all these people who were going to attend the meeting, meeting, and then reschedule the meeting based on their availability. So this is one sort of question. Second is uh, one of your suppliers uh, is not like uh, is um, has uh, sent uh, has uh, replied to you saying that he hasn't received his paycheck, and then you have to go to the uh, the whole income document and uh, see whether the check has been dispersed or why he has not uh, received the check, and all these, and then you have to reason out. So there were the most preferred, uh, least preferred, neutral, and all these answers were there, and you had to uh, select the best one. After this, there were two emails which you had to compose and write. So based on, so basically, it was related to the case study that was presented to us before the document, and based on that. Uh, Based on that, the uh, email said that uh, what will be the most preferred uh, solution to this problem, and we had to give three reasons: what is the least preferred solution, and then we had to uh, like uh, figure out the risks and opportunities of a particular task that was mentioned in the case study, and then write compose this mail as usually an employee does. So this was the E-Tray round. In So the next round in Shell after the E-Tray round was the main interview uh, that, is, that took place on the first day of the placements and uh, so the interview for me it was a one hour long interview. They have a fixed schedule so after one hour you the interview you need to leave the interview room as in they ask you to leave the interview room. Uh, so uh, and uh, the interview process in Shell is somewhat quite different from the other companies. So in other companies, when you they, when they ask a question, uh, you answer the question, then they cross question you on that. So in Shell, it is not like that. So in Shell, they would generally ask you a question. You keep on telling your experiences or your answer, and they'll keep noting down the po important points from that. And based on those, uh, you won't get any feedback throughout the interview. Uh, so. So it's like a teacher teaching to students and the students writing down the notes uh, and the, the students do not look at how the student is, the student is like the teacher is saying and all. So this is how generally the shell interview takes place. Uh, the interview questions are mainly based uh, on your like ability to uh, build relationship with people, your achievements. So shell usually tests all its candidates based on uh, a formula. It's a car formula. So, uh, CAR is C stands for capability, A stands for achievement, and R stands for relationship building ability. So, uh, based on so, uh, so offer all the answers, they want you to demonstrate your uh, skills based on these three principles C, A, R. Uh, so, the question generally range from uh, so the, the start question is uh, explain any of your technical projects in detail. So here also they don't expect the student to go into the technical technicalities of the project uh, but they want the student to tell them what kind of difficulties he faced, he or she faced during the project and how did he overcome the difficulties, how did he talk to the professor or to the research group members and then figure out the solution. So this is generally the start questions. Uh, so you have to explain any of your project from your resume. Then next again are cases based on like, uh, so uh, have you ever faced a situation where you had to resolve a conflict, then you have to tell one of any, any instances from your resume and explain it in detail. Then uh, there will be uh, like, so this will be the first question. Then second question based on this will be uh, what feedback did you get? How could you, how could you have improved your way of thinking or your way of actions? So this is generally the follow up questions. Uh, after, uh, so this is one particular. Then second is how, uh, give an instance where you built relationship with people and managed to solve a problem. Uh, give an instance where you uh, went out of the way to do a particular task all these sort of questions and the major uh, important thing that I uh, like applied in all my answers was I kept all my answers based on a star strategy. So first is the uh, situation, then the task at hand, uh, the action you took and the result you got. 
so if you like uh, for all this uh, for all your qualities the car qualities if you answer it on the basis of this star qualities or uh, the uh, method of uh, the method if you choose this then it would be easier for them to understand and for you to uh, like go on to explain them otherwise it just becomes like a uh, they asking you a question and you telling random stuff or remembering certain stuff from this and then this and then like you got to find the answers sort of so this was majorly the uh, first one hour interview that uh, took place on the recruitment day uh, so after the interview round uh, there was again a case study round uh, which had like uh, for the case study round they gave us another case study which was uh, like an extension of the first case study that they had presented to us on the before the day of recruitment and uh, so it had certain questions where uh, they gave us different pathways for doing a particular job uh, so there were three alternatives for a task that uh, was mentioned in the case study and we had to like uh, do the calculations firstly the cost calculation secondly the safety calculation like as in which method would be safer and where people relationship would be spoiled or how you could have done that in a different way and all these things uh, so this was the basic case study for which they gave us 35 minutes to like uh, make all the calculations read the entire document again uh, so this was the uh, first case study round after that you are moved to a room where again there are two examiners and uh, you you are given exactly 5 minutes to present your case study as to which alternative among the three you selected and why uh, give out reasons and uh, give out a proper order as to what uh, uh, what criteria you used and how the calculations were made so this is how this is what you have to explain in the 5 minute case uh, the presentation after this presentation they will keep on judging you on the criteria that you had mentioned as in they give you different situations and they will expect you to like keep that criteria uniform and apply the same uh, methods for the other for answering those questions and uh, so basically for a company like shell it values its core values to a very larger extent so you need not be like going against their core core values otherwise your selection is ditched at that very moment so this was the case study round and the presentation and uh, after the presentation round like uh, so based on the presentation your case study your uh, pre recruitment itre round and most probably your resume and all uh, they give the final selections so important points regarding shell what i feel is uh, firstly as i mentioned they uh, they value their uh, core ethics uh, to a lot and uh, so for every answer for every uh, every word you speak you need to be inconsistent with that secondly they don't judge people based on their cpi so even a six pointer might get shortlisted if he has done something that is relevant to them then uh, they see people for a particular job as in we were told they were told on the pre recruitment day that uh, we have uh, shortlisted people for a specific job and we'll be judging you on how well you are uh, like uh, suited for that particular job so uh, that is the third thing and uh, well in again as i said you there is no stress round there is no out of the box questions you just need to be yourself and give away give the interview